Namaste. In this video, I will be teaching you Paraval Adavu Variation 4. So, this Adavu is also called as Peri Adavu, Et Adavu by some who put it under a separate Adavu category. But some of the others put it under the Paraval Adavu set and call it the fourth variation and for easier purposes we would also put it under Paraval, and, uh, Paraval Adavu number four because the footwork the techniques where we spread the leg is exactly like Paraval Adavu and the counts or the chol or the syllables are exactly the same which is Ta, Tai, Tai, Ta, Dhi, Tai, Tai, Tat. Eight counts going Ta, Tai, Tai, Ta, Dhi, Tai, Tai, Ta. So, this is a very versatile adabu. Once you learn the footwork, and the hand movements, we can vary the hands and add on eight counts, eight counts, eight counts and do several patterns on stage. And this is a very common adabu used in entries, exits and choreography where there's group choreography, where you um, change um, positions with other um, the group members. This Adabu can be used in counts of eight. So I will teach you the straight line and a crescent and also how the Adabu can be done in circle or just turning to left or right. So come on, let us learn the Paraval Adabu variation four. So first I will be teaching you just the leg work and then we move on to how the arms are put together with feet to bring the whole adabu as a set. I will show you starting my left and as usual you would follow and learn with your right leg. So first of all we need our array mandi. There are two ways of doing footwork for this Paraval variation four. First one would be in the Aray Mandi. All you're doing is a Kudi. Kudi which we have learned already in other videos or lessons. Kudi is a jump on toes where you hold it high and your heels are looking at each other. So that is our one. So ta or a one is when you hop on your toes and hold it. One. Okay, that's one. So we start with a one from Aray Mandi. Then two is when in the Paraval technique exactly like how we spread the legs. So one is this. Two. This kind of a bend where you are neither there nor here. So your body is on the center. It's just not here, not here. Hold it in this angle. So two is this. So we started with our toes and then two. I start again. So it would be one here, two. All you're doing now is Taking this leg, putting it across three and taking it across as four and then follow the pattern. You get it? So hopping, if I have to just show you how it works, hop, take your right far, follow with left, another far, follow, another, follow. So three times you repeat that spread, follow, Spread, follow, spread, follow. That becomes six beats. So altogether, we have eight beats to cover from one side to
to the other. So, if I have to show you in a straight line, I would go one, two, three cross, four, five cross, six, seven cross, eight. One again and we're going back. Two, three cross, four, five cross, six, seven cross, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ready? One. We can either do it straight, a pattern of a U or a crescent, or I'll show you the other way where we use it to just go round and round. So the rule is if you're going your right, which is your right turn, you would hop and go right leg that till, left cross, right, left cross, right, left cross, right. So you would just go rotate in an axis just around. Going your left would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Making sure your toes are out, you are still in Arai Mandi when you do the whole turn. Now, there's another variation to this leg movement where Number one, instead of hopping, starts as a jump, like one, and then two goes on the exact same pattern. Follow. One is one, like a little hop in summer, and then two gets this, but that is another variation. We wouldn't worry about that for now. So you just stick to this one way. One is a kudi, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going across. And just practice the footwork and then we put the arms together. Now teaching you the hands or arms for paraval variation four. All we need for this is two mudras, one being Katakamuka, the other one is Ala Padma. So Katakamuka, Ala Padma. Our position before we start the Adavu or the step is holding it in Katakamuka against your chest. As soon as the beat one starts where we go on Kudi, all you're doing is from here, Throwing both arms up in the air above. Straight line into an ala padma. Straight. And then gradually you're bringing it down, drawing a circle till the floor for seven counts and bringing it up for the eighth count to start the circle, the whole process again. So, remember, every adava needs your eyes to follow the hands for proper execution at the practice stage. So, in this case, so you are going sideways. A waist is being the spring. You don't go forward. The bending all comes from the waist. So drawing a big circle with Ala Padma until you reach 8. Back to this starting position. So just start with me. It is 1 up in the air. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाउ वेन वी पुट द आर्म्स एंड द लेग्स टूगेदर लेट सी हाउ इट वर्क्स यू वुड बी इन अर्धमंडला पोजिशन लाइक दिस विथ कटका मुका in both hands across your chest so for one when your feet go on toes you go one this is the one position two you're going across so gradually it needs to take the position into the circle so one two three four five Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bringing it up. We can do the same thing going around, like I said, turning in your own axis. So you go right. doing the same with both hands up in the air starts at 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 bring bring it back to eight position and then reset 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so learn the eight counts feet and the proper hands and then we have a few variations we can do which is like single hand if you want to start exactly the same instead of going both hands see how it works squatting start like this 1 2 going across 3 4 5 6 7 8 lock this bring this up and go 1 open 2 Three. Watch the hand coming down. Five, six. Keep going. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or going round would be exactly the same. You go one in ala padma. Two bend. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Lock this. Open. Two. Bend the other way. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So, basically, paravaladvar variation four is eight counts done in all these patterns. So, learn the basic footwork. and basic arms put together neatly